I've often been asked whether this is documentary, whether this is art, are you an activist, are you a visual artist, are you a filmmaker? And I think it's just simpler to say that um, I'm responding. Within these eight projections is a constellation of a whole spectrum of stories, of experiences, of memories, of acts of sexual violence in the Indian subcontinent from 1947 to 2005-2006. The birth of India and Pakistan is linked to this horror. And I think we need to understand this history in this particular way as well, through another lens. How do I tell this meaningfully, respectfully? What language is there to talk about this kind of pain? I didn't want to get anybody to re-articulate it. I felt that there must be another way for me to understand. You can find it in a mark, in a stone, in a tree, in a window. I felt it was important to put these eight projections together to see the similarities between something that happened in 1952 in, in Nagaland and something that happened in 2002 in Gujarat, which is in some way just the way we live our lives. There are so many things happening at the same time and we make sense of it in bits and pieces. But I felt the need to move out from this experience of simultaneity and shift into something that we are more familiar with, a focused single projection, which is also the first time that you hear spoken voice. It's hard to comprehend the pain of this simultaneous experience. When it shifts into a single projection, perhaps this would show you some, some root into comprehending this pain or rather comprehending how to respond to this. You hear it in a language that you don't understand. In a few minutes, you understand what she's saying. It's not just cerebral understanding. It's an understanding that has the potential to shift you uh, from inside. It was important for me to actually find a way to go beyond suffering, if there was a way. And there were many ways which I found, which are there in the work. And different people, different women showed different ways of actually responding to this pain and responding with strength and going beyond this pain with enormous amount of care and beauty and sensitivity, like a lightning not only full of pain, but also full of strength.